Today, we are whipping up a potluck staple you will not want to miss. Whether you're attending a summer barbecue, a big holiday dinner, or a large family gathering, cheesy crockpot potatoes are where it's at. Now the ingredient list for these cheesy crock pot potatoes might look a little bit different than what you're used to because today we are kicking that condensed soup to the curb and we are gonna welcome in a velvety smooth made from scratch cheese sauce that is eons better than anything you could ever pour out of a can. Here we have a giant bowl of frozen diced hash brown potatoes. So this is one whole 30 ounce bag of diced potatoes plus another half a bag. Now let's come over and talk about the sauce ingredients. The sauce is gonna begin with butter on the stove top. You're just gonna add it to a saucepan and melt it down. Once your butter is melted, you'll add in some diced onion. And then once your onion is all sauteed and softened, you're gonna sprinkle over some all-purpose flour. This is gonna be our thickener. Once your flour is good and mixed in, you'll start adding unsalted chicken broth one big splash at a time. Make sure that you stir well after each addition to get that sauce perfectly smooth and creamy. After that chicken broth is good and incorporated, we're gonna add in the sour cream. Just stir it until it's smooth. Season it with a little salt and pepper. Then we're going to stir in some freshly grated cheddar cheese. Now, if you taste test this sauce, you are going to notice that it has a very strong flavor and it might even seem a little too salty, but you have to remember that you are seasoning a lot of potatoes. Okay guys, once that sauce is ready, all that's left to do is pop the top off of your slow cooker. Add in those frozen diced potatoes. Pour the cheesy sauce over the top. And then you just give it a stir. So all those potatoes are good and evenly coated. Pop on the lid, set it to low, four to five hours. Once that cook time is up, y'all can go ahead and take some of that leftover cheddar cheese sprinkle it over the top and pop the lid on for about 15 more minutes just so that, that cheese can get good and melty. And while I'm waiting on that cheese to melt down, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some parsley. This is extra, you don't have to do this part, but it is gonna add a little extra flavor and a great pop of color. Okay, the cheese is nice and melty on the top. I'm just gonna garnish it with that chopped parsley. Now, are y'all ready to see a delicious ooey gooey cheese stretch? Let's taste it. <laughs> These are some seriously cheesy potatoes. This dish is a potluck win every single time. So keep this recipe in mind for the next time you are feeding a crowd. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the anthonykitchen.com for this recipe and hundreds more perfect for entertaining and to our YouTube channel, The Anthony Kitchen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.